ओम श्री साई राम विथ ह्यूमिलिटी रेवरेंस एंड डीप डिवोशन आई ऑफर माय हम्बल प्रणाम्स एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान वी हैव अमिस्ट अस टुडे प्रोफेसर रंगनाथ ए स्कॉलर इन सैंस्क्रीट पार एक्सलेंस he secured first rank in ma sanskrit from bangalore university and was awarded dlit from himachal pradesh university he studied rigveda traditionally for 8 years he was conferred the title veda bhushana by veda dharma paripalana sabha and the title veda shri by the world association of vedic studies united states of america the american biographical institute usa honored him with the man of the year in 1996 shri ranganath has written 50 books and 100 research papers to his credit presently shri ranganath is the director of rv institute of sanskrit studies bangalore above all shri ranganath is an ardent devotee of bhagwan and it was in the year 2008 that shri ranganath had a unique opportunity to give a talk on the ramayana in the very physical presence of bhagwan in this very same hall recently shri ranganath shared his thoughts on indian culture and spirituality during the summer course held at brindavan in april this year today he will address us on the importance and inner significance of upanayanam and gayatri mantram after the talk of professor ranganath we will have the bliss of hearing an audio clip of bhagwan on the significance of chanting gayatri which bhagwan delivered at brindavan in the year 2000 february 2000 we will also hear the audio clip after professor ranganath speech may i now invite professor ranganath to he give his talk professor ranganath सभाज नम ईश्वरांबा सुत सत्यम निमंगल कारण वेकूत संप्रीत वंदे साई जगद्गु तुसीदल संकाशम योगी मानस पूजित सर्व मानव सन्देश वंदे साई जगद्गु हरिनील जटाजूट पूर्णचंद्र निभानन भक्तलोक चिदाभास वंदे साई जगद्गु आर्तत्राण व्रताधारम व्योमकेश विराजित यशश्चंद्र प्रभा व्योम वंदे साई जगद्गु रत्नाकूत काषायांबरधारिण मुनिमानस सचार वंदे साई जगद्गु प्रेमामृतपयोराशि विश्वकल्याणकारिण शांति सत्यम सहारम वंदे साई जगद्गु प्रशांति निलयावास बाल भास्कर सन्नी आश्रित जन मंदार वंदे साई जगद्गु विश्वविद्यालय व्याप्त निगमागम सेवित सत्यम शिवंच सौंदर्य वंदे साई जगद्गु हैविंग ऑफर मै प्रफाउंड प्रणाम्स एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान एंड हैविंग ऑफर मै profound respects to the organizers with the permission of bhagwan i want to share some of my thoughts on inner significance of upanayanam and gayatri mantram let me commence with bhagwan's own statement the ceremony of brahmopadesham is upanayanam which means taking near taking the young aspirant near brahman that is to say 
introducing him to brahma jignasa desire to know brahman the path of brahman it is one of the samskaras namely purificatory acts which reconstruct the personality reform the mind purify it and rebuild it it makes the person receiving it a dvija a twice born the boy is born first into the world now he is born into the sadaka world he becomes a brahma chari a person who walks towards brahman so it is a very significant day in the lives of the people a day they must long remember with joy and thankfulness it is the day when their hearts were turned towards god and they should try not to run away from god hereafter that is a great responsibility indeed the initiation was done by upadesham by a guru please note the word guru can never never be translated into any other language guru is not a teacher guru is not a mentor guru is not a preceptor but guru is guru himself there are two letters gu and ru gu means ignorance ru means remover one who removes the inner ignorance in the form of darkness and gives the light in the form of knowledge is a guru agnanati mirandasya gnananjana shalakaya chakshurun militam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha the highest kind of guru is one who takes you to that level spiritually and hence shankar bhagavat padacharya in the very first verse of shata shloki says drushtanto naiva drushtah tribhuvana jatare sadguru gnana datuhu sviyam samyam vidatte yah sa guru rityya vidiyate you cannot compare guru with anybody else can you compare the sky how is the sky sky is like the sky how is ocean ocean is like an ocean how was the war between rama and ravana it was like the war between rama and ravana so also how is guru guru is like a guru that's all you can never draw any parallel to guru because is unparalleled in our tradition and hence it is with great reverence that we take the term guru and traditionally guru is also called deshika in our tradition there are three letters please remember de shi and ka devata rupadha ritva shishya nugrah karanat karunya amrita purtitva deshika kathita priye de means devata rupadha ritva god himself descends down why shishya anugrah karanat to do anugrah to shishya to bless the shishya how karunya amrita purtitva out of mercy out of compassion that's why love all hate none so we should love every human being on the earth and hence that love that compassion that kind of mercy which a guru dons upon a preceptor which dons upon a student uplifts him to his level spiritually and hence this mercy has no comparison and which has been reproduced by shakespeare also in merchant of venice act second scene third line 42 to line 56 which is as follows the quality of mercy is not strained it drops as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath its wise bless it blesseth him that gives and him that takes its mightiest in the mightiest it becomes a throne monarch better than his crown his scepter shows the force of temporal power the attribute to on majesty where in the sit that dread and fear of kings but mercy is above the scepter's way it's enthroned in the hearts of kings it's an attribute to god himself an earthly power that then show like as guards when mercy seasons justice therefore that is the kind of mercy which the preceptor dons upon the pupil to lift him to that level spiritually please note that and when he does that you know how exactly you cannot offer in any way your kind of gratitude to guru as kabir das would have it aachedana paachegaye jab chidiya chuggaye khet तब पचिता ये क्या हो होता है सब धरती कागद करूं लेखन सब बन राय सप्त समंदर मसी करूं गुरुगुन गुहा न जाए यू कैन नॉट नो द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ गुरु इवन इफ यू ट्राई टू राइट डाउन द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ गुरु विद द हेल्प ऑफ मेकिंग द वाटर्स ऑफ ऑल द सेवन ओशंस एज इंक 
and making use of the entire earth as paper, you will not be in a position to know the exact qualifications of Guru because Guru, after all, is, according to Bhagavan, Gunatitaha Rupavarjitaha. He is Gunatitaha. He is beyond all the three qualities. Trai Gunya Vishaya Veda Nistrai Gunya Bhava Arjuna says Krishna in Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna, which is an universal statement which holds good for all times to come. Therefore, Gunatitaha, Sattva, Rajas and Tamas, these are the three Gunas. And the real Guru will be, would have transcended all the three Gunas. And Rupa Varjitaha, he can take any Rupa of his form. Therefore, no ordinary mind will be ever in a position to know what exactly is the nature of this particular Guru. So, a student after Upanayanam, is led to a guru for getting imparted the knowledge pertaining to our scriptures which have been handed down from generation to generation through oral tradition without even a single change of udatta and anudatta. As you have just now listened to the beautiful Rudra and Chamakam which have been sung in one unitary voice which echoed through the entire atmosphere to create that kind of ambience from which everybody will be drawn towards that and merge into it and that's exactly what we know as Brahmavid Brahmaiva Bhavati. One who knows Brahman becomes Brahman because knowing and becoming and being are only at the peripheral level and in the ultimate analysis you are that. To know that we know that the day on which you have been initiated into samskara your second birth has begun. The first birth is a physical birth, the second birth is a spiritual birth and from second birth onwards you will be called as Dvija, Dvidha Jayate Iti Dvijaha and from that day onwards your Veda Jaina will start under the feet of Guru and Vedas are four in number, Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Swama Veda and Atharva Veda. Again, Yajur Veda has been divided into Shukla Yajur Veda and Krishna Yajur Veda. Remember, Rig Veda is the first written record available to us in world literature. 1028 hymns, 10,552 mantras, 8 ashtakas, 10 mandalas, 52 hours of non-stop chanting, right from Agni Mele Purohitam till Sangat Chadvam Samvadadvam. It takes you 52 hours to chant once Rig Veda. And that is how, if you want to call yourself as Ruk Shakala Shakadhyayi, you see, you are supposed to chant Pravara after your Sanya, during the time of your Sanya. Chadusagara Paryantam, Go Brahmane, Bhya Shubambautu, Kashapa Avatsara, Naidrava, Trayarshaya, Pravaranvita, Kashapsa Gotraha, Ashwalayana Sutraha, Ruk Shakala Shakadhyayi, Ranganatha Sharma, Ahambo, Avivadaya. If I say that, Shakala Shaka should be here and not here. You should learn it by rote. And the very first mantra is Agni Mantra. You know, Agni Sukta is the very first Sukta. And everything is pervaded with Agni. Agni Mele Purohitam Yajnasya Devam Rutvijam Hotaram Ratnadhatam Agni Purve Virushibiri Dhyonutanai Ruta Sadevam Deha Vakshati Agni Narayamashna Vatposham Eva Dive Dive Yashasam Vira Vattam Agni Yam Yajna Madhvaram Vishwata Paribhurasi Sayid Devesha Gachati Agni Rahota Kavikrata Satya Chitra Shravasta Maha Deva ओ देवे विरागमत यदंगदाशुषे तुमग्ने भद्रंकरिष्यसी तवेतत सत्यमंगिरा उपत्वाग्ने दिवे दिवे दोषा वस्तर धिया वयम् नमो भरन तये मसी राजन तमद्भरण अम गोपाम रुतस्यदि दिविम् वर्धमानम् स्वेदमे सनपिते वसुन वेग्ने सुपायनो भवा सचस्वान स्वस्तये this is the first sukta of Rig Veda. If I chant 1028 suktas, it will be 52 hours non-stop from one end to the other end, which I dare not do in this present context. So the second one is Yajur Veda. You know, Yajur Veda is further divided into Shukla Yajur Veda and Krishna Yajur Veda. And the popular mantra which we chant, whenever 
some sannyasin enters he is nakarmana na prajayadhane na tyage naike amrutatvamana shuho parenana kam nihitam guhayam vibrajade tadyatayo vishanti vedanta vignana sunishchitartha sannyasa yoga jataya shuddha sattva aha te brahma loke to para antakale paramrutat parimuchyanti sarve dakram vipapam parame eshvabhutam yat pundarikam puramadya saggastam ತತ್ರಿ ದಹ್ರಂ ಗಗನಂ ವಿಶೋಕಸ್ತಸ್ತದುಪಾಸಿತವ್ಯಂ ಯೋ ವೇದೋ ಸ್ವರ ಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ವೇದಾಂತೆ ಚ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿ ತಕೃತಿಲೀನ ಪರಸ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ವನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಾಮವೇದ ಸಾಮನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೇದಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗಾರಿಕಲ್ ಎಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ವೇದಾಂ ಸಾಮವೇದೋಸ್ಮಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಸಾಮನ್ ಎಮಾಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೇದಸ್ ಅಹಮನ್ನ ಮಹಮನ್ನ ಮಹಮನ್ನ ಅಹಮನ್ನಾದೋ ಹಮನ್ನಾದೋ ಹಮನ್ನಾದ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ವನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಥರ್ವೇದ ಟಿಲ್ ವೆರಿ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅಥರ್ವೇದ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ಡೂ ವಿತ್ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಜಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಅಥರ್ವೇದ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಭದ್ರಂ ಕರ್ಣೇಯ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಜಾಮ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯೇಮಾಕ್ಷಭಿರ್ಯತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿರೈರಂಗೈಸ್ತುಷ್ಟುಭಾಗಂ ಸಸ್ತನೂಭಿ ವ್ಯಶೇಮ ದೇವಹಿತ ಯದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಸ್ತಾಕ್ಷೋ ಅರಿಷ್ಟನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ದಾತು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನೋ what are the duties of a brahmachari because tomorrow you are going to be initiated what you are supposed to do after you are initiated properly the first thing is the brahmachari should take an oath that he will have firm faith in god the most important thing is the faith shraddha hi paramagati hi yo yashraddha s eva hi saha ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾವಾನ್ ಲಭತೆ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ವಿಚ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಚೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಅಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಟು ಪೇಜ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಪ್ಯಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಟು ಸೇಸ್ is the faith in the doctor which cures the patient more than the actual medicine which he prescribes is the faith in the doctor which matters not the kind of medicine which he prescribes you should have that kind of faith and vivek chudamani shankaracharya says shastrasya guru vakyasya satya buddhya avadharana sa shraddha katita sadbihi yaya vastu upalabhyate in the scriptures and in guru if you have got indomitable faith then that will take care of everything faith can move mountains gandhi ji said therefore what not faith can do you should have that kind of firm faith in whatever you do therefore do all do everything with faith faith stands suppose if somebody ridicules the ignorant the cavilling by the world the laughter of the low minded when someone ridicules you should argue like this within yourself is he ridiculing my body well he is doing that what i myself would wish to do for i to want to escape out of this attachment to the body is he ridiculing your atman well he is doing the impossible for atman is beyond the reach of words and thought 
ಯಥೋವಾಚೋ ನಿವರ್ತಂತೆ ಅಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ಮನಸ ಸಹ ಚೈತರಿ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಮನಸೋ ಮನೋ ಯದ್ ವಾಚೋ ವಾಚಂ ಸವ ಪ್ರಾಣಸ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಚಕ್ಷುಷಶ್ಚಕ್ಷು ಅತಿಮುಚ್ಚ ಧೀರ ಪ್ರೀತ್ಯಾಸ್ಮಾನ್ ಲೋಕಾದಮೃತ ಭವಂತಿ ನ ತತ್ರ ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ಗಚ್ಛತಿ ನವಾಗ್ಗಚ್ಛತಿ ನೋ ಮನ ನ ವಿಮಾನ ವಿಜಾನೀಮೋ ಯಥೈತದನುಶಿಷ್ಯಾದ್ ಅನ್ಯದೇವ ತದ್ವಿದಿತಾದತೋ ಅವಿದಿತಾದಿ ಇದು ಶುಶ್ರಮ ಧೀರಾಂ ಘೇನಸ್ತ್ಯಾಚ ಚಕ್ಷುರೆ ಯದ್ ವಾಚಾನ ಭಿದಿತ ಘೇನ ವಾಗಭ್ಯುಜ್ಯತೆ ತದೇವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತ್ವ ಬಿದ್ದಿ ನೇದಂ ಯದಿದಮುಪಾಸತೆ ಯನ್ ಮನಸಾನ ಮನುತೆ ಯೇನಾಹುರ್ ಮನೋಮತ ತದೇವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮತ್ವ ಬಿದ್ದಿ ನೇದಂ ಯದಿದಮುಪಾಸತೆ ಕೇನೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಾಲಿಟಿ there is something which is beyond mind therefore we are supposed to go to mindless state or no mind state which is pristine pure state according to gaudapada acharya the famous commentary which he has written on mandukya upanishad which though being the shortest of the upanishad with 12 mantras has got the profoundest teaching along with the mahavakya which is embedded in this particular mantra and therefore we should have that kind of level which is a levelless level to quote aravindo in future poetry he says when individual consciousness merges with universal consciousness what remains is only consciousness which one should not even be conscious of that's the level to which one is supposed to go so at that particular level what can you think there is nothing to think there is only to experience if somebody offers you as a sweet in the form of prasadam can you explain how the sweet is until and unless you taste it you should come to your experience and not talked about therefore philosophy is meant only to experience and not to be talked about that's why radha krishna said india has no dearth of philosophers but hardly we find practitioners who is going to practice everybody is a preacher in advising others everybody is a great scholar but in following that nobody paropadesha samaye sarve picha panditaha swayam aacharana samaye munayopi apanditaha therefore what is required is putting into practice that's why he called acharya achinoti shastrarthan achare sthapayatyapi swayam aacharate yastu satu acharya ite shrutaha some would be well read but they don't have the art of communication some have what excellent art of communication but they don't have knowledge at all what to communicate and some have both but they don't have uh, practice therefore all these three when it combines in a proper proportion it is called as acharya the second point which every brahmachari should make note is do not worry about ups and downs loss or gain joy or grief as krishna puts it in bhagavad gita sukha dukhe samaye krutva labha labho jaya jayo it comes and it goes why do you bother for that once you cling to it you become unhappy because mind is the root cause for your bondage manayeva manushyanam karanam bandha mokshayo as muktiko upanishad puts it therefore try to conquer your mind go to mindless state that's why sadashiva brahmendra wrote nine stanzas mano niyamanam how to control mind everybody says you control your mind how to control mind he has given nine stanzas where he discusses the concept of controlling the mind the third point is that reason out and get convinced of the truth sarvam brahmamayam everything is brahman you are brahman i am brahman then why i am not in a position to know that i am brahman because ignorance in the form of darkness is covering that light in the form of knowledge which is within you take out that ignorance veil of darkness then what remains is only light as 16th mantra of isha vasya will have it hiranmayena patrena satyasya pihitam mukam tatvam pushan napavrunu satya dharmaya drishtaye on top of which swami rangnathananda 1941 april 2nd moscow lectures comments until and unless the devil in us dies the divine in us will not shine forth take out the devil what remains is only divine therefore swami vivekananda said every man is potentially divine it's for him to realize his inward potency in keeping with what shweta shweta upanishad says shunvanto sarve amrutasya putraha everybody is amrutaputra don't think that you are amrutaputra 
to call oneself as a sinner is the greatest sin one is committing in one's life swami rangapriya therefore we have to go to that level to understand this particular problem then what exactly we should ask for god gives you whatever you pray for here bhagavan quotes one very important incident ask for the right things in your life there was a man who had four wives he happened to go to bombay on some work connected with his business from there he wrote to all of them that he was prepared to bring home whatever each of them wanted so they all wrote to him giving a list of things they wanted the first wife asked for nice tonics for her health rugs and woolen clothing to be of service whenever she fell ill the second wife wanted some sales of the latest style choli pieces jewelry of the bombay type and such other sundry decorative stuff the third asked him to select for some religious books gnaneshwari abhangs bhakti vijaya etc available in bombay bookshops including pictures of pandrinath bhavani and sai baba the fourth wife had no list at all she simply wrote if you return soon and safe that is enough for me she got nothing but his love therefore what matters is love all hate none therefore whenever possible wherever possible to whomever please extend your love that is the real message then coming to gayatri you see gayatri is the most important mantra in our entire tradition from the moment of assuming from the mother's womb one is involved in action this natural state is common to all and may be described as shudratvam after one receives gayatri initiation he is born again and becomes a dvija twice born gayatri is described as chandasam mata the mother of all the vedas one meaning of gayatri is that it's a mantra which protects or fosters the gayas or jivas the most important thing here is that gayatri occurs in almost all our scriptures aitareya brahmana belonging to rigveda states gayatri protects pranas gayan pranan tarayate yasya atma sa gayatri yagnyavalkya smriti states gayantam trayate yataha iti gayatri she protects one who sings her glory shankaracharya states supreme being is eulogized as gayatri giyate tatvam anaya iti gayatri bhagavad gita says i am gayatri among all the meters gayatri chandasam aham vyasa smriti says gayatri is not different from brahman na bhinnam pratipadyeta gayatri brahmana saha gopata brahmana says gayatri is supreme radiance bhargah tejo vai gayatri brudarani upanishad states gayatri is light of lights gayatri jyotisham jyotihi then according to mantra shastra gayatri has origin in kundalini yoga kundalinyam samudbhuta gayatri pranadharini vasishta ganapati muni says gayatri is the sum and substance of all vedas nigamanam saraha gayatri mahabharata shanti parva 43rd chapter 3rd verse of vyasa says he has no rebirth who chants the four names starting from the letter ga geeta ganga cha gayatri govindeti hrudistite chaturgakara sanyukte punarjanma navidyate 
whoever chants the names of Gita, Ganga, Gayatri, along with Govinda, all the four, starting from the letter Ga, will have no rebirth. So they will get emancipation automatically. No mantra is as sacred as Gayatri, states Shanka Smriti. Gayatriya paramam nasti divicha ihacha pavanam. And while chanting Gayatri, you see, you have got 24 syllables. The inner meaning of Ramayana, which I presented in before Bhagavan three years ago, 24 letters of Gayatri is nothing but explanation of the entire Ramayana of 24,000 stanzas. Therefore, if you take that kind of stand, you see, entire Ramayana you can incorporate into Gayatri. And the very first letter in Gayatri Mantra is Om. Om should be chanted in Pluta. Please remember, one Matra Kala is Hraswa, two Matra Kalas are Dirga, three Matra Kalas are Pluta. In Pluta, you are supposed to chant Om by taking breath. Om. That much of time you have to take to chant Om once. That is called Pluta. Then the next question is, what are the occasions on which we can chant this Om? Why is it so sacred? Because Athato Brahma Jignasa, the first Brahma Sutra, based on that, Shankara has written commentary. On that, Ratna Prabhakara says, Omkarascha Tashabdascha Dvaveta Brahmana Pura Kantam Bitva Viniryato Tasman Mangalika Vubhau Om is nothing but Brahman because that is the primordial syllable which has emerged. And if you observe Lord Ganapati, you can see symbolically the Om symbol there in Ganapati. Therefore, Ganana Antva Ganapatim Hava Mahe Kavim Kavinam Upamashra Vastamam Kavim Kavinam Non Rushik Kurute Kavyam Rushikila Darshanath. That is in our tradition. No Kavi can become unless he has got the darshanic sensibility. So, Rushi is a Kavi, Kavi is a Rushi. We take it as synonymous. In honoring someone, you can chant Om. While receiving something, you can chant Om. While maintaining silence, you can chant Om. While offering worship, you can chant Om. While giving charities, you can chant Om. While receiving charities, you can chant Om. All auspicious occasions, you can chant Om. Abhyudane, Abhyupagame, Tushnim Bhave, Samarchane, Dana, Pratigraha Daucha, Omkare Picha Mangale, Mankha Kosha. There are different koshas in our tradition. Amra Kosha, Medhani Kosha, Ekakshara Kosha, Anekakshara Kosha, Vaijayanti Kosha. Like that, there is also Mankha Kosha. So in that Mankha Kosha, this particular statement comes. Om can be chanted in all those ways. You see, in Rigveda, you have got Oma Nam Shanyor Mamakaya Sunave. For the well being to ward off sorrow, you have to chant Om. In Yajur Veda, you have a mantra Om Kratosmara, inspirer of good actions. In Samaveda, you have got Swasti No Dadhatu, bringer of auspiciousness. In Atharva Veda, again you have got Rucho Akshare Parame Vyoman, imperishable principle. So, the concept of Om occurs in all the four Vedas. And we have got a beautiful Anuvaka in Taittiriya Upanishad. Om iti Brahma, Om iti Dagam Sarvam, Om iti Tadanukriti Hasmava, Apyo Shravayet Yashravayanti, Om iti Samani Gayanti, Ogam Shom iti Shastrani Shagam Santi, Om iti Advaryu Pratigaram Pratigranati, Om iti Brahma Prasauti, so on and so forth. So entire Anuvaka is meant only for Om. Om is Brahman, Brahman is Om. If you reach that level, Purastad Brahma, Paschad Brahma, Dakshinatas Chotarena, Brahma Vedam, Vishwamidam Varishtam, Mundaka Shruti comes into being. Everything is Brahman. That's why Sarvam Brahmamayam, Brahmani Manasa Sancharare. 
Sadashiva Brahmendra's immortal composition. So he wanted to take music to the heights of philosophy in keeping with Shelley's statement, music beautifies philosophy and philosophy edifies music. That's the combination between music and philosophy because mantra shastra and music have got very close relation. And people who know the mantra shastra secret, if you chant Shri Suktam, 24 times Yinkara comes. Hiranyavarnam Harinim Suvarna Rajasrajam Chandram Hiranmayim Lakshmim Jatavedo Mahavaha Tam Mahavaha Jatavedo Lakshmim Anapagaminim Like this, 24 times Yinkara comes. Thrice if you chant Shri Sukta, 24 into 3, 72. There are 72 Melakartha Ragas in music. Therefore, the basis for music is Shri Sukta. If you take that Mantra Shastra dimension, to what level you can go? That is the level in which one has to think about all these things. And in Bhagavad Gita, you have a beautiful statement. Om Tat Saditi Nirdeshaha Brahmanaha Trivida Smrutaha Om Tat Sat All the three are different appellations for the same Brahman. And what is Brahman? Satyam Gnanam Anantam Brahma. What is Satya? That which does not change in past, present and future is Satya. Yadrupena Yannisitam Tatadrupan Navibicharati Satyam Trikala Badyatum Satyatvam Kalatrave Abadyama Natvar Yadrupena Yannisitam Tatadrupam Vyabicharati Anrutam This is Shankara Bhashya on Satyam Gnana Manantam Brahma of Taitari Upanishad based on which how world is only an appearance and not a reality. Shankara has given the example of a barren woman's son. Please underline. A barren woman's son having taken bath in mirage water by wearing the sky flowers as the flowers and coming to wage a war with the help of the horns of the hair. How true is that statement? That exactly is the world. Mruga Trishnam Basisnataha Kapushpa Krita Shekaraha Yeshavandhya Sutohyati Shashashrungadha Nurdaraha I am quoting Shankar Bhashya on Satyam Gnana Manantam Brahma. World is only an appearance and can never become reality. And hence, we have got Druk Drushya Viveka. What is Druk? Druk is Brahman, as Lalita Sasnama would have it. Druk Shaktyai Namaha. So what is Druk? That is what we have to analyze in this concept. Om has got three letters, A, Vu and Ma. There are 43 interpretations for A, Vu and Ma. I don't take it up in this context because time won't permit me. And there are the ways in which you can talk about only Om, only A, only Vu or only Ma. And that is the dimension which it has got. Gayatri is the essential mantra which has to be chanted thrice, morning, noon and evening. This will serve to reduce the efforts of the wrong acts and does every day. It is like buying goods for cash instead of getting them in credit. There is no accumulation of karmic debt as each day's karma is atoned for that day itself by reciting the Gayatri Mantra. The attitude of surrender will grow in us if we recite regularly this Gayatri Mantra. Gayatri Mantra, Burbu Vasuvaha should be chanted and it has got Gayatri has five faces. Is there anybody in the world with five faces? In the Ramayana, Ravana is said to have ten heads. If really he had ten heads, how would he be able to lie in his bed or move about? This is not the inner meaning of the description. He is said to be ten-headed because he was the master of four Vedas and six Vedangas. This is how Bhagavan interprets the inner meaning of Gayatri. And I hope you would see how exactly Bhagavan has interpreted in his own words about the significance of Gayatri. With these few words, I offer my profound gratitude and humble pranams at the lotus feet of Bhagavan. I submit 
and want to acknowledge my profound sense of gratitude for giving me this unique opportunity to visit Prashanti Nilayam for the second time. Thank you very much. Dear youngsters, Jeevitamilaku Sala Pradhana Manipintyaka Samayamidi. This is the most auspicious, important moment of time in our life. Jeevitamu Nalagantasula Medapena Jeevistundad. Life is a mansion of four floors. Modatidi Adi Gayatri. The first floor is Gayatri. Adi Brahmacharyamu. This is the state of celibacy Renda or Brahmacharya. Gruhastamu. The second floor is Gruhastha householder. Mudavadi Vanaprastamu. Third Vanaprastha recluse. Nalagavadi Sanyasamu. Fourth Sanyasa, the renunciant. Kanuka Jeevitamunaku Yinadu Niru. Today you are laying the foundation for the mansion of life. Is the foundation is so safe, secure and strong, the rest of the three floors would be safe. Man has four births. Modatidi Taligadbamundi Janminchinapudu Sajamaina Sudra Janmamu. The first is born out of the womb of the mother, which is natural one, physical. Rendavadi Gaitri Mantra Pradesham Cheta Vijrautunadu. Because of receiving this holy Gayatri, he takes the second life. Mudavadi Veda Dhenam Cheta. By going through the Holy Scripture Veda, he gets into the third life. After realizing the Supreme Brahman, he becomes a Brahman. Not merely Brahman by virtue of birth, by virtue of action too. Manam Brahmatatvani Guttinchin Tarvatani Brahmanani Chapraniki Paka Adikaram Tundadi. You can call yourself a Brahman if you realize the nature of Brahman. He wouldn't take Kudanu, Divya Mane twenty, Bhavya Mane twenty, Gaitri Navame, Pradhana Mane twenty. For all these three steps, the primordial principle is Gayatri, which is novel and divine. Gayatri Kudanu, Sarvabde Vata Sarupini. Gayatri is multidimensional. Sarva Mantra Maniyoka Parupini. She is the very personification of different mantras. Gayatri Chandasam Mata. Veda Manakantaki Sandi Vantidi. Gayatri is the mother of Veda. It went to Gayatri Mantra Manakarin Tarvata. Ye Mantra Manakuram Manamu Swarin Tanakar Lady. Once you recite, chant Gayatri, you don't have to recite any other mantra. Gayatri ki Moon Nepa Perunai. Gayatri has three names. Modatadi Gayatri. The first one is Gayatri. Rendavadi Savitri. The second is Savitri. Mudavadi Saraswati. Third one is Saraswati. Gayatri, Savitri, Saraswati. Gayatri, Savitri, Saraswati. Gayatri, Chandasa Matan. Avedamari Kasuripini. Gayatri is the very embodiment of Gayatri. Gayatri, Gayatri, Gayatri. Manayaka senses ku master in putti Gayatri. Gayatri is the master of all senses. Pranamanaku Adipati in a twenty Savitri. Savitri is the presiding deity of the life principle. Kanukuni, Maranitina, Bhattanakudam, Satyavantin Kudanu, Pratan Seta, Triki Pranam Tepins Kunadi. By virtue of her prayer, incessant prayer, she could resurrect her husband. Kanuka Gayatri Savitri, Savitri Nega. Life to master. Savitri is the master of life. Ika Saraswati. Third one, Saraswati. Saraswati nega mana vagdevata swarupini. Saraswati is the presiding deity of the faculty of speech. Ii moodinti oka swarupame manava jeevitamu. Human life is the combination of these three. Kanuka, Gayatri mantra vane tmintiti, Samanya mantra tmintiti kaadu. Gayatri mantra is not an ordinary one. Bhoor annadu. 
మొట్టమొదటిది ఏమిటి ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ భూ అనగా ఏమిటి భూలోకము అని భూ ద ప్లానెట్ అర్త్ భూలోకం అనగా ఏమిటి మెటీరియల్ తో చేరినటువంటిది వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ అర్త్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్ ద వన్ ఆఫ్ మెటీరియల్ ఈ మెటీరియల్ లోకం అనేటువంటిది మన దేహమే ద బాడీ ఇస్ మేడ్ అప్ ఆఫ్ మెటీరియల్ భూ ద సెకండ్ భూ అహ ఈ భూ అనగా ఏమిటి వాట్ ఈస్ భూ అహ భూ భూ అహ భూ భూ అహ భూ అహ అనేటువంటిది ఈ మెటీరియల్ లోకమైనటువంటి దేహానికి కొంత విధమైనటువంటి ఒక వైబ్రేషన్ కలిగిస్తుండాలి భూవహ ఈస్ దట్ వైబ్రేటింగ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ పాసింగ్ త్రూ ప్రాణము దాట్ ఈస్ ద లైఫ్ ఆ ప్రాణమే ఈ దేహాన్ని కదిలిస్తుంటుంది ఇట్ ఇస్ ద లైఫ్ దట్ పల్ సేక్ ద బాడీ ప్రాణం మాత్రం ఎక్కడి నుంచి వచ్చింది వేర్ ఫ్రామ్ యు గెట్ ద లైఫ్ భూవహ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫ్రమ్ తూవహ అది ఏ ఒక విధమైనటువంటి జ్ఞాన శక్తి Tuvaha is the strength of wisdom. Dinini pragnana sekti annar. It is the strength of supreme knowledge. Dinini English lokudanu constant integrated awareness annar. This in English is termed as constant integrated awareness. Kanukane idi e radiation annar. This is the radiation. Meti lokamu. Materialization is our. Vibration lokamu. Vibration. Radiation lokamu. Radiation. Di mood kudunu manam nendi imedu unnai. All the three worlds are immanent in man. The one you think you are, that is our body. The one you think you are is the body. The one others think you are mental lokam. The one others think you are is psychological plane. The one you really are, that is atma lokam. The one you really are is the atmic plane. Deham lakku, pranam lakku, nana lakku, mood inti kini man dehme mula dharamu. Body is the basis for all the physics, the life and the wisdom. Ye saavam ni yandu manu vidyan saajin chalan anna. దీనికి మూడింటికి ఆధారం ఉంటుంది ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఫర్ ఆల్ దిస్ త్రీ వి నీడ్ ఎ బేస్ దేహం చాలా పవిత్రమైనటువంటిది ద బాడీ సేక్రెడ్ కాని ఇంత పవిత్రమైనటువంటి దేహాన్ని మనం దుర్వినియోగం చేసుకోవడం చేతనే మనకు దుష్ట బుద్ధులు దురాలోచనలు దుశ్శక్తులు మనలో ప్రారంభిస్తున్నాయి ద సేక్రెడ్ బాడీ ఇస్ మిస్యూజ్డ్ వేస్టెడ్ దేర్ ఫర్ వి ఫైండ్ ప్లేస్ ఫర్ ద వికెట్ థాట్స్ అండ్ వికెట్ యాక్షన్స్ కనుకనే మనము ఈ దేహాన్ని సద్వినియోగం చేయించాలి హెన్స్ యు హావ్ టు మేక్ ప్రాపర్ యూస్ ఆఫ్ ద బాడీ సత్కర్మలో ప్రవేశించాలి టేక్ టు గుడ్ కాండ్ సదాచారంలో దిగాలి టేక్ టు ఆల్ గుడ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ సత్కర్మలు ఆచరించాలి వి షుడ్ హావ్ టు అండర్ టేక్ గుడ్ యాక్షన్ అప్పుడే ఈ దేహం చాలా పవిత్రమవుతుంది దెన్ ద బాడీ బికమ్స్ హైలీ దేహం పవిత్రమైనప్పుడు మనసు కూడాను పవిత్రమవుతుంది వెన్ వన్స్ ద బాడీ ఇస్ సేక్రెడ్ మైండ్ ఆల్సో బికమ్స్ సేక్రెడ్ కనుక మనసు దేహము పవిత్రమైనప్పుడు ఆత్మ నిరంతరము శుద్ధిగానే ఉంటాయి వెన్ వన్స్ ద బాడీ అండ్ ద మైండ్ ఆర్ సేక్రెడ్ In fact, Atma has no attribute. Nothing unsacred. Atma is pure. దీనిని వేదము నిర్గుణం నిరంజనం సనాతనం నికేతనం నిత్య శుద్ధ బుద్ధ ముక్త నిర్మల స్వరూపమని ఏది ఎనిమిది విధములైనటువంటి వర్ణన చేస్తూ వచ్చింది ఆత్మ హాస్ గాట్ ఎయిట్ క్వాలిటీస్ దట్ ఇస్ ప్యూర్ ఇట్స్ అన్సలీడ్ ఎటర్నల్ బ్లెమిస్ ఇమ్మోర్ట్ 